And now it's time for Southern California's Sports Fishing Voice. Let's talk hook up. For the next two hours, join Pete Gray, Rock Cod Rick Maxa, Corey Sandin, and this week's special expert guest for fishing information, new techniques to catch more fish, and the most current scoop on what's happening in the water. Let's Talk Hookup is sponsored in part by Yamaha Outboards, official motor sponsor of Let's Talk Hookup, Royal Polaris, the world's finest long-range sports fisher, By Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hookup and Shimano Rods and Reels. Fish with the best. Shimano. Get ready for the fastest two hours on radio with the hosts of Let's Talk Hookup, Pete Gray, Rock God Rick Maxa, and Corey Sandin. Good morning, anglers, and welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. I'm Pete Gray with Rock God Rick Maxa. Hey, we're in the world headquarters of Let's Talk Hookup right here next to Fisherman's Landing in San Diego. And we have a great guy in the studio. Bob Dawson, travel insurance expert, is here. And it is just going to be a great day talking safety and travel and fishing, of course. You stay tuned. This is Southern California's Sport Fishing Voice. It's Let's Talk Hookup on the Let's Talk Hookup app and the Mightier 1090. San Diego. Do you need a vehicle that's built ready for your next adventure? Well, your San Diego County Ford dealers have you covered with the 2021 Ford Ranger. This adventure-ready truck is built with durable features like its frame-mounted step bumpers and high-strength steel frame. But that's not all. The Ford Ranger also has an available terrain management system with four selectable drive modes depending on what terrain you're on for optimum performance. Looking to tow your boat or trailer to your next adventure? No problem. The 2021 Ford Ranger can handle that too and has smart technology like Bliss with trailer coverage to assist changing lanes and makes driving so much better when towing your boat or trailer. Visit your nearest San Diego County Ford dealer or buyfordnow.com to learn more. That's buyfordnow.com and they'll be glad to hook you up. Saturday, November 6th, it's Tackle Day at Fisherman's Landing in San San Diego, and it's our largest sale ever. Plenty of seminars by saltwater experts and over 20 reps from tackle manufacturers like Accurate, Aftco, Calstar, Gamakatsu, and Costa. Don't miss all the great seminars, the huge raffle to benefit Rollo kids, the popular casting contest, and of course, the huge sale. For the best ever tackle bargains, check out Tackle Day at Fisherman's Landing, Saturday, November 6th. You've heard all about it. You know the anglers catching fish have it. So what's holding you back? It's a fact. Fishdope.com really does help you catch more fish and burn less fuel. Fishdope.com is the only fish finding service with a spotter plane along with a crew of top anglers on the water almost every day that report actual locations and catches. You can get daily catch reports from Point Conception to San Martin Island 365 days a year. Fishdope.com is for everyone. Whether you have your own boat, fish on your friend's boat, or a Sport Boat. Fishdope.com has online planning tools, moon phase, tides, hot bite icons, and more. So bottom line is, if you don't have Fishdope.com, well, you're probably missing a lot of bites. Membership costs less than $50 of gas, and that's for the entire year. That's right, one year. What a bargain. Plus, use the special code to save $20 on a new Fishdope.com membership. Check it out today. Fishdope.com. Catch more fish, burn less fuel. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hook Up today. I mean, like you said, you, you said it best, Pete. We got a great day, a great bud, lots of cool stuff to talk about, fishing included. But this is one of the most like highly sought after shows. So much cool information comes out of having our buddy Bob in here. Today is yeah. going to be a great show. I'm really looking forward to it. Rick and I were just talking in the break. It's like every time Bob's on, every time his commercial airs on Let's Talk Hook Up, people call us up, ask, us, ask you in the tax store. What's that travel insurance oh, guy? <laughs> and this is him, Bob Dawson. Good morning. Hey, Bob. Well, good morning, Rick. Good morning, Pete. It's great to be back with you again. Great to have you. And that's kind of your deal, right? Travel insurance. Yeah, it's mostly mostly business and commercial insurance, but travel uh-huh. insurance is certainly a, a a part of what we do. You uh-huh. know, I mean, yeah. it's basically everything from workers' comp to homeowners and autos to travel. But travel insurance is what we want to talk about. We're in the long range season now. I yes. love October. Yeah, you're a long range guy. Oh man, yeah. It's, just, it's like this is when all the ten day and longer trips start. Right. And so, when are you going? Well, I'm on a waiting list. 
<laughs> <laughs> so if you if you haven't booked, you're probably finding out very quickly that most of the boats are sold out yeah. even for le- next year. Yes, you very know? true. But somebody always cancels. Something comes something up. Something happens. Yeah, something happens. So hopefully they have travel insurance. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> they get their money back. <laughs> and that's why you need travel insurance, because things happen, right? Yeah, well, you know, and let's talk about the top seven reasons why people want to buy travel insurance. One, because you don't want to lose all your money if you have to cancel your trip. And second, because accidents can and do happen while you're traveling. And because your health insurance probably won't work overseas. Because your medical evacuations can be really expensive. Yeah. And, and because only 80% of the U.S. flights arrive on time, like if you're flying somewhere. And because of missing a bag, that could ruin your trip. And sometimes even expert travelers need a little bit of help. But one thing I'd like to bring up, because I was looking this up. I must have been really bored on a Sunday. This was about a <laughs> month and a half ago. And I'm like, you know, I wonder what a medevac costs today. Well, I couldn't find the current rates. I did get some, some rates from some of my travel insurance carriers. We have uh, 122 plans with six different companies. And the main thing is we guarantee the lowest price on every plan that we offer. And we know the differences between the companies and what's going to work best for you. But anyway, so in 2019... The average medevac cost was $40,000 for airlift. Wow. Yeah, and that's going to be a lot more today because gas prices are over 50% higher. And I know wages have changed over two years. Yeah. So some of this stuff can get get pretty pricey. Yeah. So if you add your your travel insurance policy that you sell, which I have, how much would that $40,000 medevac cost you? Zero. Zero. Yeah, because you get a quarter million dollars in medevac coverage that comes with the trip cancellation plan. And the one that you have is the same one I have, uh, Pete. It's the one that five, up to $5,000. Most of my trips are $5,000 or less. But, but it'll cover fifty grand in, in medical coverage, 1000 in baggage loss, quarter million in, in airlift. And airlift, you know, that stuff's expensive. Yeah. And, you know, what I read, and I think people would win this if they hired an attorney, but I can tell you, buying a travel insurance policy is going to be way less than you paying five or 10000 for an attorney so that airlift is covered. But they're saying on, and I'm Googling all this, that, hey, uh, you know, two out of three companies won't cover airlift. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I feel that people can win that, but... Wouldn't you rather spend so, a couple hundred? So there hundred... are some insurance companies that will cover an airlift. Well, they're going to fight you all the way. It's, yeah, you know, in it, because situations. it's expensive. But but see, but if you have the travel insurance, it's it's a no brainer. You just call the number, right? Right, and and, 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 and they and they arrange it. They arrange and they it. pay it up to well, in your case, on your policy and my policy, a quarter million dollars. Yeah. So so you could be in Africa on a uh, safari, and you could get home. Right. Well, the way it works, especially on the annual plans like we have, it covers any trip you make. Well, almost any trip. I mean, you can't go parachuting or hang gliding. <laughs> you, you can't go scuba diving, you know, beyond 65 feet. Uh, those, those are a little more high risk. And they're pretty standard uh, exclusions on most, most travel insurance policies. Uh-huh. But anything else that happens, if, it's, if you're 100 miles from home is the key. That's when all the coverage kicks in. So 100 miles from home, whether in the USA or worldwide, then all your coverage starts. Now, one of the other cool things is, let's say you buy an annual plan since it covers most any trip you make, and you're somewhere and you need to rent a car. It even covers rental car coverage for $45,000 if that car is stolen or in a wreck and no deductible on it. Wow. So how do these policies, these annual policies that you sell at a Dawson Insurance Services differ from the one that when like when you're buying an airline ticket? Right. You yeah. see, oh, you want travel yeah. insurance Add to insure 40 this bucks, trip. whatever. Yeah, to, to insure this trip. How do those how does that policy differ from what what you have? Well, it's, it, ours is going to cover the airfares too up to the $5,000. So mm-hmm. you don't need to be buying you book a flight, let's say you're going to Vegas for a weekend. You don't need to buy the travel insurance for it if you already have an annual insurance plan that covers every trip you make for a year from yeah. the start date. And it's not, it's not a calendar year like January 1 to December 31. It's the day after you purchase it when it, when it goes into effect. Right. Like mine goes April to April, I think. Something right. Like that. Yeah. yeah. So, so, um, so when you buy that insurance policy on your airline ticket, you click that. Does that include uh, emergency evac? 
Yeah, if you buy it with uh, when you're buying your airline ticket, it would. But if you already have an annual plan, you're wasting you your money. You don't need it. Right. Yeah. yeah. I mean, what? Because it's covered. Yeah. Because if you have a, a situation, and it's basic, it's the same company, Allianz, right? Yeah, in most cases it is. Allianz insures 35 million people worldwide. They're Holy the largest. Wow. Yeah, they're a, a, lot of, a lot of clients. And then Travel Guard's next with about 17 million people. And then we have HTH Worldwide, we have Geo Blue, we have MedJet Assist, we have Global Rescue. Now, all of them vary a little bit, but if you call Travel Guard or Allianz or somebody, they're not going to know the difference. Yeah. They're not going to know, well, you know, I'm going across the border, I live in San Diego, I'm not going to be 100 miles from home. Is that Allianz policy good for me? No, because you're not 100 miles away. Right. But we do have a policy with either HTH or uh, Geo Blue that as soon as you cross an international border, the coverage goes into effect. Ah. So it's, it's really good for people that live here in San Diego and we're very close to the uh, Mexican border. You, a lot of times, you know, you're just going down to TJ or something like that. You're not going to be 100 miles from home. Yeah, we're right. right here at the landing. We're probably only 15 miles away from the Mexican border. Right, right. But yeah. there is a policy that would cover that. Yeah, the annual, the annual or even a per-trip policy, uh, you can't get an annual plan with Geo Blue or HTH. I can tell you the best way to go on an annual plan is going with Allianz, period. You know, nobody else has anything to even compare. And I'll give you a quick example. Let's say you said, well, you know, Travel Guard's a great company, and they are. And I find that the Travel Guard plans, on the more expensive trips, the ones that are like up to 150000 per trip, we always get a handful of those Oh, yeah, Rick and I go on Oh, yeah, all the time. time. Yeah, yeah, no biggie. Yeah. Yeah. Going next week. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, so, so some of the more expensive policies, some of the, some of the uh, carriers are a little bit less money. So if you're planning a trip, maybe it's ten or a $15,000 trip, as an example, or up to 150000 I find that on most of the quotes that we run that – Travel Guard is a little more competitive. When it gets less than that, then it's it's really tight whether you want to go with with Allianz or Travel Guard. The only thing we do is we'll just quote them. We'll quote them. We'll look at the prices. We know what the coverages are, and then uh, we just make a recommendation. We'll send you an email. You can apply online from the quote. Put in your credit or debit card, and it just takes effect the next day. But you know, a lot of people buy one trip plans. They're like, hey. You know, I'm going on one long-range trip, and uh, I think that that would work better for me. Okay, fine. Well, we'll get you a one-trip plan. And those typically cost about, well, depending on your age, but from 4% of the cost of your trip. So let's use as an example a $3,000, let's say it's a $3,000 fishing trip for five, six, or seven days. So, So most of the trips run, and this is the best deal in the world, let's say four to 500 a day. On a long-range boat. Right. And uh, so you're going to cover a $3,000 trip. If you're in your 20s, you're probably going to pay 120 bucks for it. It's going to include half a million in medevac, not that you need it, but it just comes with it. And it's going to cover your 3000 trip cancellation. Let's say you trip and fall, you break your toe, uh, you get COVID, you get the flu. Uh, there's 20 reasons that they'll cover 100% refund for you. So COVID's included now? Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. Okay. Yeah, you, you have to have it. You can't be afraid of getting it. Yeah. I'm not going to cover that. Yeah. But, yeah, if you get it, yeah, 100% refund. Even if a family member gets it, it's 100% refund. Okay, and you have to quarantine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. So so you pay 150 bucks for that. Why wouldn't you buy the $280 annual policy if you're going to do just one more trip Well, in, it, in a year? Yeah, it makes more sense. Is it the same? Same well, coverage? Pretty well, n- not as much medevac. It has a hundred thousand for medevac okay. on the annual plan. That has three thousand dollars in trip cancellation. It has twenty thousand in medical. And most everybody has medical insurance. If not, the state penalizes you when you file your taxes. So most people have it. But a lot of people are like, you know, I'm in my twenties or my thirties. I never see a doctor. I'm getting a high deductible plan. A bronze plan with a six thousand five hundred dollar deductible. Been well, in. now you got twenty grand coverage here. We'll pick that up. So we'll pick up everything up to twenty grand. Wow. That yours doesn't cover. Okay. You know, because almost everybody has. That's the annual plan. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, on the annual Either. plan. So, so how about this scenario? Uh, you need to be airlifted off a, one of the long range boats. Right. It happens a lot. Right. Coast Guard comes out, picks you up. Is Coast Guard going to send you a bill? 
Probably. Yeah. And not only that, here's the, the biggest advantage. So that, that so if Coast Guard picks you up, would that insurance cover that? Yeah, it would reimburse you for it. They'd reimburse you yeah. for it. Okay. Now, typically, depending on where the Coast Guard is, you might not be picked up for hours. Yeah. You know, all, all of the uh, contracted helicopters, because we have to use a helicopter to pick you up, are uh, private companies. They're usually a lot faster. They're around everywhere. There's, you know, and most of the travel insurance companies contract with the same uh, airlift carriers, mm-hmm. you know, but you're, you're you're typically probably looking at a forty or fifty thousand dollar pickup cost, depending on how far you are away. Well, even in 2019, it's two hundred and sixty eight bucks a mile. So, yeah, I mean, it could be wow. you could be twenty miles away, or you could be, uh, you know, hundred miles. Away. Yeah, and that and that's another thing. Let's 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 talk about that because y- you have to be within range of a helicopter to be picked up. Now, most helos, three hundred and fifty mile round trip. If you're out at Hurricane Bank, yeah, right. How in the yeah. hell are we going to get out there? We yeah. can't because the pilot's not going to go. He has got to get back to land. Yeah. So yeah, that boat's got to come in closer for that. But they'll do everything they can possibly to get you evacuated. It's just that some sometimes you're out in the middle of the ocean, and you're too far away for a medevac. In in, in, in that case, the boat's just going to have to come in closer. I guess if you were. At Clipperton, maybe it's closer to go to Costa Rica. I don't know. I haven't yeah. been to Clipperton for many years. I remember hearing old stories of people getting flown out of Socorro Island, you know, oh, like yeah. a Navy, you know, the Navy, Navy strip out there. Yeah, they have that Naval Hospital. Oh. Matter of fact, we just flew a guy out of Mag Bay. They have a Naval Hospital down there, too. It was uh, right 29000 and some change because we couldn't get him on a, on a commercial jet because, you know, he needed a COVID test. So we had to get a medical jet. So the medical jet usually have a nurse on them and a paramedic and your pilot. And that's why it's so darn expensive. You know, you're paying big bucks to, to get evacuated. And, you know, it's, it's kind of like any insurance. You don't buy house insurance going, man, I hope my house burns down and I get to use it. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, totally. Right. Yeah. Yeah. If, you're, if you're going to use your travel insurance, something went wrong and your trip got ruined. Right. Somehow. And you, and you hope you never need it. That's the whole yeah, idea. Yeah, totally. Right? It's like putting a life raft on your boat. You hope you exactly. never need That's it. That's a great but analogy. <laughs> when, you know, when, you, yeah. when, when you need it, by gosh, you're glad it's there. Right? Oh, you better believe it. You know, yeah. a lot of people are probably wondering, well, how much does this annual plan for $3,000 cost that covers me for all these trips for a whole year. Well, it's 280 bucks. It's $5 more than it was a few years ago because they took a $5 rate increase <laughs> oh, for <my>. the year. <laughs> it doesn't scare most That's people. That's for a year. Yeah. Yeah, for so everything for a you do. Year. Yeah. For yeah. every trip that you do. Yeah, almost every trip. Like I said, you know, the parachuting, the hang gliding, if you're car racing, if you're a UFC fighter and you're going to go in and get your brains <laughs> yeah. knocked out. No, but now, cover that. one of the concerns <laughs> I have is I'm a diver and you're talking about diving. As long as you don't dive below 60 feet. Now, Dan, uh, the Divers Alert Network, right. has a plan. And uh, I was talking to a friend of mine that has the Dan uh, travel insurance policy. Mm-hmm. Now, um, what's the difference between the Dan plan and, and the Allianz plan? Well, the Dan plan is going to cover deeper than the 60 feet that you're going gotcha. to be limited to with Allianz and most of the uh, travel insurance it's carriers. Like a standard depth for most people, 65 feet. Well, that's a long way down. Yeah. You know, I mean, yeah. if you go 10 feet down, that's pretty far. Sure. You can feel it on your ears. Oh, yeah. And I mean, I dove plenty deeper than yeah. 65 feet, but do I like diving any deeper than that? Not really. I okay. mean, I, I'm like most of the life is above 50 feet anyway. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. so it can get a little scary going down that deep, but you know, there's general exclusions on almost every policy. It's not like, well, I'm going to, I'm going to purchase this travel insurance policy from Dawson and associates, and it's going to cover anything that happens to me. Well, that is not true. Yeah. It just it ain't going to happen. Yeah. You know, because there's exclusions, general exclusions of policy, just like you can buy the most deluxe homeowner's policy in the world, and it's still got exclusions on mm-hmm. it. But this is the cool thing, is if you, it, rather than having to read the fine print, do you ever read the fine print, Rick? Literally, Nobody does. Yeah. Literally yeah. never. No. Okay, rather than having to read the fine print, you just call yeah. Bob. I trust a guy like you. Exactly. <laughs> you just call Bob exactly. and just say, Bob? Yeah. <laughs> Bob? This, this is good I, for me, right? Yeah, like, yeah. yeah, and I have a scenario I'll tell you about after after, after we take a, a quick break, but uh, as you can hear, we oh, have man. a great show lined up. I mean, there's a lot to talk about, and we haven't even ventured into talking about fishing. Yeah, there's some and great... And we ye- gotta do that. Yeah. Yeah, 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 there's some great yellowfin fishing going on, some great local fishing. It's gonna be a great show, and, and Bob is a fisherman. I mean, that's how this that's how this happens. Yeah. A, a, you know, regular long ranger, a great fisherman. This is gonna be a great show. So much cool stuff to cover, and so much info with Bob Dawson. If you want to join us, we want to hear from you this morning. Give us a call at 213-432-1090. Again, 213 
is our number. Or you can send us a text. We've already got some really good texts that have come through also. We're going to be reading those. The text the show option, it's only available via the Let's Talk Hookup app, which is a free download from an Android or your iPhone. Easy to get, easy way to listen to the show, and you can participate by texting the show. We're also giving away a really cool prize. One lucky caller at the end of today's show is going to get to go fishing on a full day trip on board the Liberty. Those guys have been seeing some great fishing lately. You're going to get to go fishing with Captain Taro, Captain Nebel. Full day trip out of Fisherman's Landing to one lucky caller at the end of today's show. Again, if you want to get in on that great prize or much better yet, just your chance to talk to Bob, 213-432-1090. And when we come back, we got a lot more Let's Talk hookup coming your way, more of your phone calls, more great questions. You stay tuned. You're listening to Southern California's Sport Fishing Voice. This is Let's Talk hookup on the Let's Talk hookup app in the mighty year 1090. Your vacation bucket list can't be completed without visiting the Katmai Lodge, Alaska this summer. A world-class wilderness fishing paradise on the banks of the famed Alagnac River. Get in the action fishing for all five species of Pacific salmon. King, sockeye, chum, coho, plus trophy-sized rainbow trout, arctic grayling, and dolly varden, both in the Alagnac and nearby waters. Katmai Lodge's Coast Guard and CPR certified guides are fly fishing fanatics and know how to help you reel them in ensuring your days are fish filled while you enjoy freshly prepared snacks and barbecued lunches on the river back at the lodge enjoy fireside appetizers and refreshments each afternoon delicious dinner prepared by the lodge's exceptional chef take a quick fly out trip to brooks falls in katmai national park for world-renowned bear watching and check out our trout fishing specials at katmai.com that's k-a-t-m-a-i.com katmai.com Hey anglers, AFCO Pro Captain Ben Florentino of Coastal Charters here. As a full-time guide, I'm on the water all year long. It's my livelihood. Having the right clothing is of the utmost importance to staying warm, dry, cool, and comfortable to endure whatever the Pacific wants to throw at me. Thankfully, I'm equipped with AFCO clothing to keep me dialed season after season. Do yourself a favor and check out AFCO's award-winning gear at a dealer near you or learn more at AFCO.com. Saturday, November 6th, it's Tackle Day at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego, and it's our largest sale ever. Plenty of seminars by saltwater experts, over 20 reps from tackle manufacturers like Shimano. Come check out the Shimano Talica, the pinnacle of lever drag two-speed reels. The Talica features Shimano's Hagani body to prevent misalignment of moving parts under the heaviest loads. When throwing jigs, the Shimano Trinidad is your top choice. For the best ever tackle bargains, check out Tackle Day at Fisherman's Landing, Saturday, November 6th. The name that stands out among anglers is Fisherman's Landing, your top choice in local and long-range fishing. We offer the finest open party trips from one to three days, the best charter boats available, and of course, our world-renowned long-range fleet. Fisherman's Landing offers half-day trips on the Dolphin and full-day trips on the Liberty. Many trips can be easily booked online at Fisherman'sLanding.com. I'll see you at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego. Here's John Ireland for Rancho Leonero. You know, the ranch is unique. It's one of the few places in the world where you can still drive ATVs up the beach. We have fishing from the beach. We have dive trips that we run to Pomo in a number of different spots. Kayaking, of course, has been real big. We were one of the first hotels to introduce kayaking. The ranch is small, you know, it's intimate, it's 34 rooms, so everyone gets to know everyone. The old saying, where everyone knows your name. Well, truly at Ranch Lanero, the employees do know pretty darn near all our guests' names. And what's even more interesting is most of the guests know each other's names. Very personal, very intimate, and a special, special environment. Two miles of beachfront, a mile on either side of the hotel. Ranch Lanero is really the last of the old-style Baja fishing resorts. 1-800-646-646. 2252 1-800-646-BAHA and RanchoLeonero.com I'll personally guarantee your best fishing experience and vacation at Rancho Leonero. Lobster season is here. It's time to gear up with the best in the business. Promar. Based in SoCal, Promar knows lobster and makes everything you need to catch these tasty critters. The Promar guys are hardcore lobster fishermen and have designed the most successful hoop nets and accessories on the market, including the Ambush XL Heavy 14-pound 36-inch rigid hoop nets, the largest allowed by law. Visit Promar on Facebook or on the web at promarahi.com. 
Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup. Having a great time this morning. Phones are packed up. Just one line open if you still want to join us this morning. Got a question for Bob Dawson, 213-432-1090. Now, you said you had some examples of uh, emergency evac uh, costs. Yeah, current stuff that I got from uh, the executive VP for Allianz, a gal by the name of Barbara Hearn. And uh, as an example, if you've got to be evac back to the U.S. from South America, it's forty to 80000 Australia's ninety thousand to one hundred and fifty thousand. These are averages on what's paid, and then Asia is eighty to one hundred and fifty thousand. Middle East seventy five to one hundred and ten k. Russia seventy five to one hundred k. Spain and Italy only fifty to seventy five only. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, exactly. so when you're saying evac, okay, you have an accident, and you 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 could go to a hospital in one of these other countries, right? But yes. you say, I want to go to my home hospital. Yeah. And, these, these and you have, have that choice? Or you, do, can you, can you personally make that choice? Yeah. The hospital of choice or home, whatever you want. On some policies. like yeah. the, Well, like the ones the, we now, have. Now you're talking about an insurance man. Yeah. <laughs> you got to be careful. You know, these yeah. are written by attorneys. Right, right, right. <laughs> so, uh, so what about the policy I have? The yeah. one I bought from you. If hospital I, of if, choice. Okay. So if I... Uh, have an accident somewhere and i say i don't want to go to a hospital hill i want to go home i have that choice yes and here's here's what i'd recommend because i get people all the time they're like well you know i don't know how these doctors are in mexico i gotta tell you most of them are u.s trained Mm -hmm. and they're excellent i mean excellent you know we have people insured under group insurance and they go you look i go down to tijuana all the time i got a second home down there i want to use my my doctors in Tijuana, so we write a group insurance plan that includes that coverage, and they can do that. But some people are like, "Oh no, I'm I'm afraid to death." You know, I was in a hospital and saw a bug crawling across the floor. I want to go home. So I had a client that did that. Well, the 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 Mexican doctor, who was very good surgeon, one of the best, he even told my client, "Look, I can save your leg if you let me operate on it." But he had seen a bug on the floor, and he's like, "No, I want to get back to the U.S." Well, anyway, so he ends up losing part of his foot. Mm. Now, I don't know because he didn't have the operation down there, but it was too late. But fortunately, there was a couple of doctors on board on the long-range trip. And, uh, you know, he was having some numbness in his leg and somehow ended up with a toe infection. And it was uh, just kind of traveling up his leg where the doctors would mark it with a felt-tip marker. Okay, you can feel all the way to your knee. Okay, the next day you can... You know, it's six inches above your knee. So wow. that's why it's like, okay, this is serious. You know, we got to get this guy wow. off the boat and, and into the hospital at Mag Bay. Yeah. You know, because they have a naval hospital down there. So, But everything everything worked out. He's doing well. Uh, they picked up all the costs. You know, it's quite expensive, but sure. everything was done. But he was very happy he had the travel insurance. What's the time frame? Okay, I hurt myself. Mm-hmm. What is the time frame from when you can to That's the time call, you yeah. call them and they're there picking you up? Yeah. So here's a couple of things on that. Let's talk about the time frame because one thing, if you have a trip that's going to be canceled, whether your doctor says, "Look, I'm not going to allow you to travel," or you you break your foot, you you pull a shoulder, whatever it might be, you're supposed to notify the claims department within 72 hours now or as soon as possible. I had a claims person I was dealing with a couple of years ago, and, and I said, hey, my client, you know, had spinal meningitis, never got out of his bunk. I said, if I'd have known he had that, we'd have tried to rescue him, but I never even heard. But the guy didn't fish a 15-day trip, didn't yeah. even fish. So in any event, she goes, well, it's just too late then because it's over 72 hours. And I said, no. I said, you're reading the policy long, and you're the claims adjuster. You're the claims expert. I'm the broker. But I know, and I shouldn't have told her this, I know more than you know. Well, that, <laughs> that kind of pissed her off. And she's telling her friend, I guess her desk partner, she thought she put me on mute. And she's telling her friend, this effing broker is a real a-hole. <laughs> and I could hear it. Yeah, that's the guy you want on our side. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so anyway. Yeah, fighting the, but, and that's the other thing, too, I'll say, is that you have Bob on yeah, your side your, when you yeah, buy a exactly. policy from you, himself. You got that? effing a-hole yeah. on your side <laughs> that's right <laughs> well hey the phones are yeah, packed. They are. The texas are coming through they want to talk to you bob so let's jump into it how about we started off this morning with sean he's calling us from lomita this morning sean good morning thanks for joining us here at let's talk hookup hey good morning guys hey good morning bob i was just morning. uh curious i have a friend of mine that is in a 
in or off-road racing and doing all that. I'm not sure if you can cover that in like a group policy or if he could get it, um, get it, get each individual because he had to air vac somebody out just last week. And I'm like, I was thinking about this all last week. It's funny that you're on the show. And then also, if you're a charter master, could you get a group policy for a charter group? I mean, would that bring down the cost for individuals? Yeah, you could. Um, as far as a policy that's going to cover racing, um, I know Travel Guard has a few policies for sporting events, uh, you know, whether it's bicycle racing, but car racing, it's, it's going to be it's going to be a little difficult to get that. You know, this 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 travel insurance is really designed for people that make, you know, trips, you know, whether they're flying domestically or worldwide or whatever. And they got to cancel because they broke their toe or something or a family member ends up in the hospital you know, things like that, then it reimburses them. But as far as getting coverage for racing, you know, that's automatically excluded on most of the policies we offer. You would have to call me. I can call uh, and find out. I've got, you know, direct line phone numbers that I can get in faster than most people can. So, uh, but call me 619-990-3068. I'll get an answer for you on that because I don't want to say it on on the air because, you know, I could be held to it, and I'm not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> but that being said, you have a lot of insurance coverage for your – if you do say something wrong, you're covered there too. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I have to buy insurance to sell insurance. <laughs> That's fine. And it's, it's quite expensive. You know, it's several thousands in a year, and we, we generally carry, you know, a few million dollars in coverage because if we make a mistake – we got to stand behind it because if I end up in court with you and you're the client and I'm the expert, I lose if I'm wrong. Yeah. So that's why. But in 44 years, never have had a errors and omissions claim. But I know. Is that all you've been only been doing this for 44 years? Yeah, just, you know, a couple of days ago. <laughs> all, all except for the 10 years I retired between age 50 and 60. And all I did was go fishing and bow hunting. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I did. Hey, thanks a lot for yeah, the phone call. Good call, call Sean. Uh, great text came through. This one was from Ernie from uh, Prosper, Texas. It says, uh, what if I, I'm interested in getting the yearly plan. What if I'm on a sport fishing boat and they cancel the trip? Uh, I know that I'll get my money back from the trip from the operator, but will the insurance cover my airfare because he's flying out from Texas? Oh, okay. So, yeah, the boat will reimburse you. We've never had any problem with any of the long-range boats out of San Diego not reimbursing people because a trip was canceled. Mm -hmm. And uh, in regard to your airfare, uh, yeah, we could we could get trip cancellation for that. would be included. Let's say you got the 3000 annual plan, 3000 in trip cancellation, uh, then you're covered up to $3,000. Now, if you bought, uh, as an example, a non-refundable ticket, I've had people do that. A lot of people do it. You know, it's a great price. But it doesn't mean you can't get your money back. It, it might be non-refundable for cash, but it is reusable. A lot of people don't know that. They're like, oh, heck, I, you know, I can't go. I'm going to lose all my money. Well, you're not going to get your cash back, but at least you're going to get to use that ticket again. But would so, the trip cancellation insurance that, that on the annual plan cover that airline ticket? Yeah, and we would have to get uh, – we'd probably end up getting a credit on that, you know. I like would, an airline credit. Yeah, where – you know, and it's usually good for 773 days. So let's say that you take out a policy. And by the way, you, you, let's say you purchase a policy. You've got 10 full days to cancel that and get a 100% refund if you're unhappy with what you bought. So they're pretty fair about it. But let's say that you uh, say, oh, I bought this policy. Now I'm not going on that trip. I want to modify the policy because the place I'm going hunting in Canada is closed again for this year, and I can't go. So they'll give you a credit. Let's say you had a $10,000 trip. You say, okay, we'll give you a credit for 773 days it's good for. So just let us know whenever Canada opens back up again, you know, we'll, we'll go ahead and, uh, and honor that $10,000 trip. And that way you, you get to use it. You don't lose it. And that's because the outfitter can't. Well, the government canceled it. They don't want anybody coming across their border. Yeah. Yeah. Now, is, uh, is Ernie's scenario different if it was something that happened to him that had to cancel the trip? You know, I mean, his, this scenario is whatever. The, the weather's bad and they decided to cancel the trip. Is the, is the scenario of refund different if he broke his leg, you know, a week before the trip? Or, or is the. Or he came down with COVID. Yeah. Yeah. Or, well, or is the, yeah. the airfare different because it's an airline? No, it, it's going to be covered first off. 
so let's say that you break your leg or a family member ends up in the hospital or something happens where you can't go on the trip. So you get 100% refund up to the trip cost. And, uh, you know, the, now the insurance company is going to say, hey, we want some proof. Show us the check that you paid to XYZ Vessel or whatever, or, or right. the tour or company. Or airline or whatever. Yeah, and, uh, and we'll reimburse you. But you got a proof of it, you know, and, and then... If you broke can't your have leg, a, you need something from the doctor. Can't have a two hundred dollar deposit down and just say, "Hey, I need I need this five thousand dollar trip that I missed back." But, <laughs> yeah, right? Uh, they, yeah, that doesn't work. That's called insurance fraud. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Hey, good text. Thanks. Hey, let's find out what's biting down in the Baja. We got the cast man, Richard Castaneda, standing by. Buenos dias, cast man. Hey, Ricky. Buenos dias. How we doing, cast? Cast man. Hey, hey, we're doing it, man. I'm just got back down from Oregon here. In SoCal and uh, enjoying this weather. They're getting slammed up there. Uh, got a call from my neighbor yesterday, man. I guess that wind and rain is just uh, that whole Northwest and the Northern California is getting hammered right now. Just got out of we're going to get some time, Cass, man. As usual, man. You know, timing. <laughs> it's always it. timing. But uh, heading for Venice, Louisiana, Monday, fishing right. uh, redfish down there. So I'll be fishing there Monday. I'm sorry, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, back on Friday, and then I'm heading for San Jose del Cabo on next Saturday. So. Anyway, guys, uh, you know, it's pretty been pretty dismal down in the southern Baja. There's a good Dorado bite from La Paz all the way down to San Jose del Cabo. San Jose del Cabo. And I, when I say good, it's good for this time of year, but there's some nice quality Dorado being taken. Uh, normal spots for tuna for right now at this time of year has not been good. Um, you know, and I've got a big group I'm going with uh, – a week from today, down to San Jose, and then I come back. I'm home four days, and we go down for our annual Wahoo Rumble. Uh, there have been some Wahoos showing up in the count, and hopefully, <laughs> hopefully things change in the next five or six days by the time I get back from Louisiana. Uh, but um, uh, like I said, it's normally this is a fantastic time of year to be down there and fishing Wahoo and yellowfin tuna. So things can change, and uh, got my fingers crossed, and uh, hopefully we can get that going. But yeah, there's. Uh, not a, not a lot of uh, good things going right now, and it's been kind of unseasonable. So I don't know what's going on, but hopefully it changes. But, yeah, uh, well, well, it's interesting because you, know, you have uh, the the Bisbee Black and Blue going on uh, the last three days, ended yeah. yesterday, and you have 199 of the best boats in the world Unlimited competing budget. for $9.8 million dollars. <laughs> And there's two qualifying fish caught in three days. That's that's pretty pathetic yeah, fishing. That's crazy. Yeah. Crazy. I mean, amazing. Yeah. I I'm, think the bit the little bisbees that you know several days previous to that same deal. You know, I think there's a hundred and hundred and sixty boats or hundred eighty boats fishing in that, and there was seemed to be one qualifier, one one qualifying marlin, one qualifying tuna. Yeah. So, but congratulations to the winners. Now, yeah. the, the one we were oh, talking about God, this morning dude. is the, the, the fish. There was a fish that was caught. It was uh, two, It had to be 300 pounds uh, minimum. There was a 293 caught right. by a team who was across the board. Right. Had that fish been seven pounds more, they would win $7.1 million. <laughs> wow. Think about that, yeah. dude. Because the qualifying fish from yesterday, which was 305, mm -hmm. they, were, they were only in two or three of the jackpots. Right. So they weren't across the board. The big money in those tournaments is all about the dailies. They're, you yeah. know, they're like individual tournaments within the, within the main tournament. And that's where the money is. And, and being that there were no big fish um, – in those higher level daily jackpots, they all rolled over to the third day. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean that that thing was way on the positive side of seven million dollars. And those guys had that fish, uh, I guess, early in the morning, and the scales didn't open until whatever time they did. So, just think about the stress oh, having a fish you're that, close. That, having a fish that you know is close to three hundred pounds. Maybe it's three ten. Maybe it's two ninety three. And uh, you just the the. God, can you imagine oh, just no. the gut on when they are hoisting yeah. that thing on the scale? Oh, yeah. I feel so bad. <laughs> yeah, that that was like, oh, yeah. the, the sigh that came from that, Man. that thing. Yeah, for sure. But uh, good news tomorrow on Let's Talk Hookup, we're going to have Dr. Brad Stiles calling in who competed in the Bisbee. Oh, cool. And he competed in the uh, Little Bisbee, too. So he's going to call us. He's playing golf today, so that's why he couldn't call in today. <laughs> so he's going to call us tomorrow and uh, give us kind of the lowdown of that's what awesome. it's like to compete 
for nine point eight million dollars with one hundred and ninety nine votes in a tournament. That's wow. uh, that's going to be an interesting call tomorrow. It, it's Cup. it's such a bummer that that big fish didn't happen. I mean, that would have been sport fishing history that probably would never be repeated. Yeah. You know, I mean, it was just such a rare circumstances that you know the tournament because last year there was a lot of money that rolled over to this year, and then all the dailies rolled over again. It was just like yeah. there was just this mega jackpot that just kind of happened this year, right. and I mean. What crazy? Yeah, that yeah. that'd be lifetime, uh, un- unbelievable history type type thing. Yeah. Hey, and Castman. Yeah. So today hey, is the tuna shootout at the Van Warmer All Resorts, right. and I can tell you this: two weeks ago there weren't any tuna around, <laughs> so so or very few. But I mean, somebody's going to catch a tuna in the tuna shootout. They have fifty boats competing. So good luck to those anglers. Yeah. So well. Yeah, I, I think they better make that the Sierra shootout or something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or the, yeah, anyway, well, hey, they... Pete, uh, hey, Pete, keep this in mind. For next year, Les Talk Hookup sponsors a team into the Bisbee, full cross-the-board money. Yeah. And you got myself, Ricky, you, and one other angler. We go kick butt. Come on, man. Put yeah, up I like the money. It, okay, I like it. And then Cath Tours is going to put up all the money. That's yeah. really yeah, good. Yeah, we'll organize we'll right? the team. All the $68,000 <laughs> across the board. Yeah. Plus the fuel and everything. Yeah. Okay, Cath, let's do it. Yeah. You're buying. Yeah. We'll tell the field, we'll drive the field research down there. Yeah. <laughs> well, it... it, it all right, things boys, got, we'll things have got to change, Cass, and I know you're going to do well in Venice and Louisiana. Are you are you out of town next weekend? Um, I'm leaving uh, Saturday morning out of Orange County on uh, on Southwest uh, with a group of 50 to San Jose Little Cabo, and then I'm there from the 30th to the 2nd of November, and then I come home, and then I go back on the 7th to the 11th with our annual Wahoo Rumble group, and uh, God, we got 54 on that trip, so it should be a hoot. That's great. Should be a hoot. All right, Cass Man, if uh, somebody wants to visit you or uh, book a trip with Cass Tours, how do we find you? 800-593-6510 or on the web, www.casstours.com, and I'll give you guys a call next Saturday morning with a fresh report from Venice, Louisiana. All right. Have fun, Cass Man. Appreciate the report, and we'll talk to you next Saturday morning. Appreciate that. Take care, me. boys. All right. Thanks, Cass. Hey, when we come back, we got a lot more Let's Talk Hookup coming your way, including more of your phone calls, all kinds of great info. You stay tuned. You're listening to Let's Talk Hookup, Southern California sport fishing voice on the Mightier 1090. Don't give up on finicky fish and light bites. The secret to getting more bites is thinner leader for more natural presentations. That's where Seaguar Gold Label Leader Material shines. It's Seaguar's thinnest leader material yet. 18% thinner and 17% stronger than any other Seaguar leader. That means it's even less visible underwater and creates more natural presentations for better catch rates on leader shy fish. With exceptional knot and tensile strength, this advanced leader material has been proven all season long on finicky tuna as big is 100 pounds on 40 pound test. Get Seaguar Gold Label at your favorite tackle dealer or learn more at Seaguar.com. Saturday, November 6th is Tackle Day at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego. Come see seminars by saltwater experts, great deals on tackle, and reps from Shimano and other top tackle companies. Shimano Terramar rods with TC4 blank construction make this the ideal rod to chase giant. Tackle Day at Fisherman's Landing, Saturday, November 6th. Let's talk candidly about long-range fishing. This is Captain Frank Capresti of the Royal Polaris and the Shogun. Nowhere on earth will you find a fleet of long-range boats like we have in San Diego. We are fortunate to have several top-notch operations to take you to the most productive fishing grounds in the world. We all offer good food, comfortable staterooms, huge bait capacity, and top-of-the-line fish-finding electronics. So why would you choose the Royal Polaris or the Shogun for your next long-range trip? What sets us apart from the rest? It's pretty simple. The boats, the crew, and the service. From the moment you arrive at Fisherman's Landing, the service begins. We help you load your gear and do everything possible to get beginners or seasoned veterans ready to catch fish. When it's time to fish, the Royal Polaris and the Shovel Gun have the edge there, too. Delivering the two best fishing platforms in the fleet. But don't take my word for it. Come fishing with us. If you want the best, it's Royal Polaris and the Shovel Gun. For more information, call 619-226-8030 or on the web at royalpolarissportfishing.com or shogunsportfishing.com. Gamakatsu Hooks and Sea Falcon Lures are teaming up at Tackle Day at Fisherman's Landing Saturday, November 6th. Just listen to these incredible specials only available at Tackle Day. Buy any three Gamakatsu items with at least a $30 value and receive a free G-Box 3200 RV box. Plus, you'll be entered into an hourly drawing with six winners per hour. Buy any Sea Falcon jig and receive a free Sea Falcon jig roll-up bag or a Sea Falcon hat. With the Sea Falcon jig purchase, you will also be entered into an 
hourly drawing with six winners per hour. For both promotions, you must be present to win and redeem your free item at the Gamakatsu booth with proof of purchase. In addition to getting great discounts on Gamakatsu hooks and Sea Falcon lures at Tackle Day at Fisherman's Landing, you will get free goods and 25 chances to win extra prizes. Be sure to go by the Gamakatsu and Sea Falcon booth at Tackle Day at Fisherman's Landing Saturday, November 6th. The name that stands out among anglers is Fisherman's Landing, your top choice in local and long-range fishing. Hi, this is Doug Kern. Our hardworking crew will make sure your fishing experience is one to remember. We offer the finest open party trips from one to three days, the best charter boats available, and of course, our world-renowned long-range fleet is second to none. Fisherman's Landing is a full-service operation offering great half-day trips on the Dolphin and full-day open party trips on the spacious and comfortable Liberty. Since we introduced the full-day trips at Fisherman's Landing, the 85-foot Liberty has become a favorite among full-day operations with bunks for your comfort, huge bait capacity, and RSW fish holds to keep your catch fresh. Plus, Liberty has a big modern galley and two interior heads with showers. All our open party trips from half-day, full, or one- to three-day trips can easily be booked online at Fisherman'sLanding.com or give us a call at 619-221-8500. I'll see you at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup. Having a great time here this morning. Phones are packed up if you want to join us. It's 213-432-1090. Now, we've heard a lot of talk about Tackle Day on Let's Talk Hookup over yeah. the last couple of weeks. It's it's like two weeks from today. I know, man. Yeah. yeah we're, uh, how's, the, how's, the, how's it coming? It's great. We're, we're just excited. Like, we, we've done a lot of pre-gaming this year. I mean, everybody knows how difficult inventory has been everywhere this year. And Tackle Day is a very special event for us at Fisherman's Landing, and we we always want that to be a big deal. It's like our, you know, it's our throwback to our customer and our buds. And so we've saved a bunch of stuff. Like um, Sea Falcon is a good one. Like Sea Falcon knife jigs are extremely hard to get. They're very popular. We could put them out right now and we would sell everyone we have. We're saving them just for tackle days. Wow. Like we would sell every, we'd sell everyone we had right now. We've got a whole bin of them that we'll have just for tackle days. And there's a lot of stuff. And, and I know uh, uh, Gamakatsu, the guys from Gamakatsu and Sea Falcon are going to be there with mm-hmm. special incentives, added bonuses for buying Gamakatsu and Sea So C-talking. Gamakatsu, across the board, buy two, get one free. No wow. no limit, no problems, mix and match. If you want, you know, number two Nautilus for stealth fish and blue fins, and you want to get some Nautilus HD 2Os for Guadalupe, and you want to get some heavy-duty assist hooks for rigging your flat falls and sea falcons, you know, across the board, mix and match, no problem. Also, if you buy 25 bucks worth of Gamakatsu, you get a really killer um, divider box, you know, similar to a Plano box, but like a much better yeah, latch system. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what to call it other than it's just a V-box. It's yeah. a kick-ass box. You yeah. know, I mean, they're really nice Gamakatsu insert style boxes. Um, and every person that purchases any product from Gamakatsu will go to the little Gamakatsu booth and get a raffle ticket, and they'll be raffling off those G7000 uh, tackle boxes. So, yeah. yeah, lots of really cool stuff. Those, those guys... They're they're awesome as always, and we're we're nice enough to give us a real large amount of inventory because of the sale. You know, yeah. something that we were able to to really fill the shelves with, which is well, going to be really be nice for Tackle Day. day. We're and excited. I, I know I talked to Mike Lum. Uh, he's he's working hard with Captain Rollins. Kids of Sea Friends of Rollins going to have a big booth with lots of great stuff and uh, raising a lot of money to take kids fishing. Yeah, it's going to so. be a great day. Some really cool seminar sales. The yeah. casting contest is happening yeah. again. It's just a, it's just a fun Saturday, day. November 6th. And one week from the day, we're going to have the man, Doug Kern, here yeah. talking and all about it, but I uh, just wanted to remind everybody, if you haven't marked your calendar already, two weeks from today. It's a big day. Tackle day, yeah, for sure. Hey, Ron Lane's on the line. Good morning, Ron. Hey, good morning, guys. Morning, Ron. Hey, g- hey great to hear from you. So you, now wait a minute. Yeah, this wait, guy's wait crazy. Wait just a second here. He's crazy. Uh, you, you get off the Shogun with Rock Cod Rick last Saturday, right? Am I oh, right? Yeah, Rick, yeah, last, yeah, Saturday. Saturday. last Saturday, and then Monday morning, you're on the plane with Jeff Mariani and headed down to Cedros to Cedros Island Fishing Charters. Is that true? It's been it's been the most amazing couple of weeks, I tell you. I feel like I've been on a seminar, just a, a boot camp. That's it's so it's cool. amazing. I had so much fun. And this last trip, uh, that fishing down in Cedros, it cannot be beat. And the way we do it with Jeff is just incredible. I mean, Cedros Island 
Fishing Charters is the new name. I've always known it as Cedros Kayak Fishing, and we got to do both. We got off that plane, and we were fishing by 11. I think it was 1030. Oh my we were God. fishing by 1030. I had five yellowtails to the boat the first evening. And, I mean, so cool. it was just amazing. And, saw, and they're saw, good quality fish. We saw Chris Minnick, uh, uh, Dr. Minnick, who was with you on, 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 on the trip, and he said, that plane goes 300 miles an hour. <laughs> so you're there like an hour and 10 minutes, right? No, we did. We, we made it in an hour and 10 minutes. That's I'm going, crazy. what the heck? Yeah. And it's fancy. I mean, it looks like it, it just, when you pull up in it, you feel like you're, hey, I'm somebody. Rock star. <laughs> Rock star, man. So, yeah, but, so, the, so it's amazing yellowtail fishing. And uh, what about the calico? Yeah, how's fishing? the bass fishing, Ron? Oh, the calicos are cartwheeling. It's just amazing. We got up to Punta Norte and fish kayaks in this the the kelp that's come back up there and the quality of the calicos is a whole rat been ratcheted up a whole nother couple levels and i don't know whether it was the break because of covid or what it is but they're hungry and they're biting everything oh, just oh, it's, cool. it's just so fun i mean you throw a flat fall in you throw i mean that shimano flat fall that blue sardine woohoo <laughs> it's gonna get eaten Wow. Hey, I got to tell a funny story, though, while I got just a moment. Uh, Chris Minnick uh, took one of my employees, uh, Liam, fishing on the trip. Uh, you know, and Liam is a grom. I mean, he's 18 years he old, and he's so, so hungry to go fishing. And, uh, and he wanted, his goal was to catch his first yellowtail on a kayak. And, you know, he, he wanted to catch a big calico. <laughs> well, mission accomplished very quickly. Anyway, he his goal was to get a picture like the other guys at the shop that he could put on his business card. And <laughs> first day he goes, mission accomplished. Second day he goes, oh my God, he caught a thirty five pound yellowtail. Oh, cool. And it battled 35. him half an hour in the kelp, and he got it. It was just it it was so fun. That's it awesome. was just so fun seeing the enthusiasm. Oh yeah. And you said you guys got over to Chester's Rock too, and kayak fished over there. Yeah. Now there's another thing. You got to go to Je- sometime today. They're going to post this funny video. Jeff with his beard and his big old lifeguard hat on. He's sitting over there at Chester's. He's you know how Jeff gets. He catches a big one and he just starts hooting and hollering. He's like he's like a Grom, like Grom leading Groms. Anyway, uh, he. Um, he did this funny video, this little thing he's going to post on his uh, on Cedros Island Kayak Fishing dot com. Cedros and Island Fishing. Why Island. I fish Chester's? Yeah, yeah. There you go. It, why I fish Chester's Rock? And then he has this big old fish, and you look down its mouth, and it's got a big old, a big old bait all the way down because they swallow the whole bait and. It's a pretty funny video. So I, if you had a moment, moment today, just go check that one out. It's, Cedros it's Island classic. Fishing Charters. And yeah, so uh, what I'm guessing is you recommend Cedros Island Fishing yeah, Charters. Yeah, you like that place, huh? Oh, I, I didn't want to come home. I was trying to figure out where I could hide. Oh, man. You know, where I'm am I going to hide so I can miss the plane? Yeah, Chris Minnick yesterday was saying, we got to get you down there. He's like, oh, I want to go so no loud. Doubt, yeah, right? it sounds great. Well, Ron Lane, fast well, line. Hey, wait a minute. It's polished. It's so perfect. I mean, everybody that's looking for a bucket list thing to do with a, a son, a daughter, a family member, got to go down there. You yeah. got to go down. There. Get a couple buddies and go. It's just so fun. Yeah, and it's only six people. Get your own yeah, room. It's, cool. uh, it's a really sweet deal. So, hey, Ron Lane, what's going on with kayaks over at uh, Fast Lane Kayaks? You got them in stock? Well, after two weeks of being gone, I walked in and there are plenty of kayaks. We're we we finally got a bunch of product and we're delivering kayaks like crazy. I think we have eight to deliver this morning, and we've got outbacks, we've got pro anglers, we've got three sixty models. Everything is in stock right now except for lynxes, but we we do have some we're delivering today. I think we got eighteen of them in. So yeah, it's going to be great. Well, you know I, I mean, I want to say finally it's starting. I was just going to say, I just wanted to say what a great time it was fishing with Ron, too, on the on our Let's Talk Hookup Shogun trip. I mean, just a great time and such a fun, such a fun storyteller. And Ron kicked some serious butt on the trip. It was just a it was a really, really fun time fishing with you, Ron. Well, that I got to tell you, uh, watching you fish is like a seminar. I just I, I, I can't believe what an experience it is to go on the Shogun 
on that trip because you learn so much. And all the guys, I mean, it's like a family on that boat. Once you go, you can't not go. I mean, I was watching guys getting in line six o'clock in the morning when we landed on the dock to try to sign up to go again. Yeah, yeah. Oh, by the way, it's sold out for next year already. Yeah. So. Yeah. Hey, Ron, I great to hear it. from you. I'm glad you had such a great couple trips, Shogun, and then Sedos Island kind of fishing. Hey, get back to work, Ron. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm going to be working today. All hey, right. thanks, guys. All yeah, right. See you and thanks for all you helped me with, Ricky. Thank That's you. That's awesome. And let's go ahead and jump in the phones, Rick. They're Vin- packed up. They want to talk to Mr. Bob Dawson. Vinny from Carlsbad. He's hanging in there and up next on Let's Talk Hookup. What's up, Vinny? Thanks for joining us. All right. Hey, good morning, guys. I just wanted to uh, say that my wife, uh, Mindy, and I, we booked uh, a couple weeks ago with Bob, and it was just, you know, seamless. Basically, didn't try to oversell us on anything. Uh, we definitely did our homework. We shopped around. All the other companies we went and looked at they were like double the price bob was just you know shooting straight from the hip didn't try to oversell us anything it was just a great great experience so i highly recommend you know for travel insurance if anybody's out there looking for that so just want to say thank you very much bob oh man thank you for the uh referral man that's awesome and and that's the thing too as you know Vinny, is that you not only get travel insurance but you get bob too it's like I, I, there's numerous times that I've called him out, hey, am I covered if I do this? Am I covered if I do that? And he, he, answer, he, knows, he knows the answers. So that's yeah, the other it was thing. No hassle, you buy a no policy hype. from you, get him. Yep, no hassle, no hype, no gripe. It was great. That's rad. Well <laughs> All said. Right. All right. Yep. Hey, thanks a lot for the call this morning. All right. When we come back, we got a lot more Let's Talk Cookup coming your way, including checking in with the Catch Report. We're going to find out what's biting, get an update on this weather. we got a lot of Let's Talk Cookup coming your way. You stay tuned. It's Let's Talk Cookup on the Mightier 1090 and the Let's Talk Cookup app. Seakeeper, the leader in marine stabilization, has launched its newest, smallest, and most radically different model, the Seakeeper 1. Now, for the first time, stabilization is available for boats as small as 23 23- Feet. The Seakeeper 1 is designed to eliminate up to 95% of boat roll on vessels 23 to 30 feet. With a fresh new look, the Seakeeper 1 has a compact flush mount installation and runs on 12 volt battery power. Installation is a breeze. It can fit under almost any seat. Now your skiff can enjoy the comfort and enjoyment that only a Seakeeper equipped boat can provide. Check out the Seakeeper demo boat at upcoming shows and arrange a free test drive. Seakeeper has changed the lives of many Southern California anglers including Pete Gray, and will allow you to stay on the fishing grounds when others need to head back to port. Visit seakeeper.com slash take a ride to arrange a demo. Eliminate up to 95% of boat roll on your trailer boat. Seakeeper, once you feel it, you'll never boat without it. One of the dream trips for most anglers is Alaska. There are so many lodges, how do you make a choice? It's easy. Choose the one most Let's Talk Hookup listeners return to time after time. Kingfisher Charters in Sitka, Alaska. No one does it better than Kingfisher Charters. They offer the best service, the most comfortable accommodations, fantastic food, and the finest charter captains in Sitka. All for the ultimate value. One visit and you will understand why nobody beats Kingfisher Charters. Sitka is famous for some of the best runs of salmon in Alaska. And if giant Alaskan halibut is your target. The expert captains at Kingfisher Charters know the hot spots and can put you on a fish of a lifetime. Plenty of rockfish and huge lingcod are there too. And when it comes to fish processing, the best in Alaska is Kingfisher Charters. It's all included in your package. In fact, everything is included except tips. It is truly amazing how the Kingfisher crew continues the quality of service they deliver year after year. Kingfisher Charters, 800-727-6136 or check kingfisharcharters.com. Many years ago, Baja pioneer Bob Van Warmer found the area he called the Great Fish Trap in the East Cape of Southern Baja and built what is now regarded as the premier East Cape resorts of Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol. Today, following in their father's footsteps, Bob's sons, Bobby, Chucky, and Eddie, have taken Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol to new levels with the largest sport fishing fleet in Mexico, a luxurious spa, and top-of-the-line resort amenities. Van Warmer resorts have become a destination for travel travelers worldwide. But for us, Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol are just a short two-hour flight away. No other tropical fishing destination offers the experience and value that you'll find at Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol. Now you can plan your Baja fishing vacation quick and easy by visiting VanWarmerResorts.com. And when you're ready to book, it's quick and easy. Or simply call 877-777-TUNA for more information. Van Warmer Resorts, the East Cape's finest. 
Saturday, November 6th, it's Tackle Day at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego. And it's our largest sale ever. Plenty of seminars by saltwater experts, over 20 reps from tackle manufacturers like Shimano. Come check out the Shimano Talica, the pinnacle of lever drag two-speed reels. The Talica features Shimano's Hagani body to prevent misalignment of moving parts under the heaviest loads. When throwing jigs, the Shimano Trinidad is your top choice. For the best ever tackle bargains, check out Tackle Day at Fisherman's Landing, Saturday, November 6th. The name that stands out among anglers is Fisherman's Landing, your top choice in local and long-range fishing. We offer the finest open party trips from one to three days, the best charter boats available, and of course, our world-renowned long-range fleet. Fisherman's Landing offers half-day trips on the Dolphin and full-day trips on the Liberty. Many trips can be easily booked online at Fisherman'sLanding.com. I'll see you at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego. San Diego, do you need a vehicle that's built ready for your next adventure? Well, your San Diego County Ford dealers have you covered with the 2021 Ford Ranger. This adventure-ready truck is built with durable features like its frame-mounted step bumpers and high-strength steel frame. But that's not all. The Ford Ranger also has an available terrain management system with four selectable drive modes depending on what terrain you're on for optimum performance. Looking to tow your boat or trailer to your next adventure? No problem. The 2021 Ford Ranger can handle that too and has smart technology like Bliss with trailer coverage to assist changing lanes and makes driving so much better when towing your boat or trailer. Visit your nearest San Diego County Ford dealer or buyfordnow.com to learn more. That's buyfordnow.com and they'll be glad to hook you up. 